we're still going. We're going strong. I gotta pay attention a little because it's a little sketchy with the rain. Sped down the dirt road. You cut over onto the thing, speeding. Went through the gas station there. I mean, what? what why were you guys going so fast through the city? Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ, jumping in here doing some LSPD in Blaine County with the Caprice. Uh, we got it pretty much decked out, so the whole stealthy thing isn't really going to work in our favor, uh, but at least we'll be able to, you know, perform pits if we need to. We got one single spotlight, so, you know, if we got to do a traffic stop, we're good on that. I decided since there's no two people in here, might as well not have two spotlights. Sometimes I do like it, but I think it looks really good on this one, so I'm going to go get some gas. Uh, and then we can just start making our rounds. I swear that's like the fifth time I've seen that Banshee. I'm not sure if that's a person or if that's the game just shitting itself and putting the same car up. I'm not really sure. I could have sworn that was a motorcycle four and a half seconds ago and now it's a fucking car. Where the hell did he go? Well, we're just gonna pull in here and get some gas then. Oh, maybe that was him right there that just sped past in the corner. I'm gonna get the uh, radio going. That way... I just know what's going on. Someone just passed super fast, it seems like. And I'm gonna go ahead and 10-8 via the uh, cat as well. So we'll do a go, go ahead and do a uh, quick little beat run. I'm rocking the ped that I really don't get to use that much just because I never remember the spawn code for it. So I'm gonna show you guys it. It's gonna be the one that we use for the Blaine County Sheriff's a lot, uh, but this, is, this one says LSPD. Has like a black jacket and a black vest. I actually really like this one. Simple, it works. And I think with... Uh, I'm not technically in a uniform, so I would assume we're gonna have to... Holy shit. Okay, I got a vehicle that's running. I don't know why this siren's stuck in here, but... That is not what I wanted. He's running, dude. Holy shit. I have a white Babbitt truck on This stupid motherfucker. I'm gonna have to change that fucking... Siren shit. I don't like this. This is supposed to be for CHP only. 1 King 24, 10 11. Go ahead. 781 East Joshua Road on a pink two door. Occupied times one, no 32. Oh, shit. 1 King 24, actually disregard if I get a 32, please. Mark doing it. What is it? Okay, I, I completely forgot about that. I can't really make contact till I have a marked unit. I'm also going to change the siren out after this, which means I have to shut down the fucking game. Um, but yeah, I believe they were going over 100 with the way they were driving. They took that corner like a madman. Uh, so we're going to have to stand by and wait for someone uh, to make contact with the uh, driver. Just due to the fact that we're not in a uh, uniform. I'm a little exposed right now, but I might actually be my backup unit. You can sit there and make, you can make as many noises as you want. It's not going to make that backup unit go any faster. Wow, he hasn't nine. even called him out yet. I'm gonna stand here until I feel fucking good. You better shut your mouth from over there. Watch him pull a gun and shoot me while I'm just standing here exposed. Shit. Oh, is that the backup unit literally right down the road? Yep, I wanna say so. I'm standing here because I gotta wait for a marked unit. You gotta understand. Shut the fuck up! God damn it, dude. Okay, I think that's gonna be my unit, so we're gonna go ahead and make contact. Can you go down and roll the window for me, please? Cover. Yeah, it's down, sir. Uh, okay. Oh, it's not. There we go. Alright, so, uh, marked yep. units back there. I'm, uh, with the Los Santos Police Department. Uh, stopped you today for your speed and reckless driving. Any reason why you're driving so crazy, or...? I don't know what you're on about, officer. I'm in a... Do you see these eyes? See these eyes? Exactly. Okay, well, I, I witnessed you. That's that's great. That's great. But I witnessed you doing it, so... I mean, if that's what you think. All right, license, registration, insurance, please. I'll just go ahead and handle what I gotta handle, then. Oh, my God. Here you go. It's gonna be Becky Johnson. Jesus. All right, Becky, go ahead and sit tight for me, all right? So much difficult. Yeah, whatever. Oh, my God. Hey, thanks for the backup. Oh, shit, I've been doing better things, like watching... Control the fucking... Oh, the stubborn shit. I'm just not even gonna do it. What is it? Becky Johnson. Alright. What? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. 
Gotta get back in this. Okay, 1041, 10 8 on a uh, Becky Johnson. No revoked. No on that. It's going to be a comet, too. That's not a comet, though. Tweety. Well, they have two. Huh. Go ahead. Right now, Coming back to a comet too. I don't think that's a comet too. I have a discrepancy with the vehicle. I'm gonna ask him what's going on. Okay. All right. I got a quick question. So your license plate's coming back to a comet too. I don't think this is a comet, is it? No. I've been meaning to get the plate fixed up. I'm pulling with you. Okay. Well, you should uh, probably do that before you go driving around because it could look like you just put a plate on a vehicle that doesn't belong to it. So what I did, I just gotta get it all changed in the DMV. I apologize, officer. Please. All right, uh, I'm gonna get your ticket written up. So I just wanted to figure that out. Just sit tight for me, all right? Oh my god! Hurry up! God, I, I need just need to get far. Away. There we go. Far enough away so I can't hear him. All right, citation. It's gonna be Becky Johnson. That's fucking wrong. Siren has me all fucked up too. So I didn't catch a speed, so I don't know, even though I could visually estimate that they were going 1 to 15 over, so I'm going to do the lowest amount since I did visually estimate it. Um, it's also going to be maintaining lanes, driving on the right side of the road. I did cut that vehicle off. I don't know if there was anything else. We have uh, public endangerment because they kind of cut some people off there. Or, so it's 750, so I could take him to jail over this, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go over and give him a uh, citation. Joshua Road. Fox Road 551 Fire Control. Control, go ahead. Okay, so you're going to be getting uh, three... Where's my backup unit go? <laughs> oh, right. Anyways, you're going to be getting uh, three... Hold on, I'm talking here. Hold on. You're gonna be getting three citations. Are you done now? Go ahead. No, you're yelling at me. I don't like being yelled at. You haven't seen yelling yet, so I bet you just go ahead and let me do this so you can sign the citation and go drive more recklessly because that's probably what you're gonna do. <laughs> oh my god, that's so rude of you, officer. Alright, anyways, so you're gonna be getting three different uh, traffic violations, which is gonna be driving on the shoulder, uh, Reckless driver, public endangerment because you pushed a vehicle off the road, and then uh, your speed as well. I did that? Did I? Oh, I yes. didn't. No, I did that. All right, so if you I just want to go ahead and sign the bottom of the citation, that would be fantastic. Yeah, whatever. I need to grab that citation. There's a lot of fucking nice cars out right now. I don't get it. There you go. I signed it. You didn't tell me how I had this? I don't, I don't need so to tell you when it says right underneath the fucking line, it says sign in legal name. Oh my god, don't... Oh my god, yeah. son of a oh bitch. God. Made my car disappear too. Accident. Oh no! Alright, sign it. God. Sign it. There, there holy shit, here you go. go oh, Jesus. Someone's on that... All right, you have a fantastic day. Drive safe. Have a good day. <laughs> fucking motherfucker. God damn it. I don't have a car. I don't have fucking anything. I have the wrong siren in, which was fucked up my vibe the whole time because I should be in a HP car. God damn it. So I'm going to 10 8 this. I'm already 10 8 because I already had to fucking switch out of that. Okay, so we're back in. I got the siren in. Now my mind's not fucked, and I don't... Uh, they, they got in a pursuit with that vehicle that passed by at a high rate of speed. Uh, so we would have been available. We could have uh, joined to that, but they we called it off, considering the fact that the weather's pretty bad. If we see the guy again, due to the fact that he's driving so recklessly, we'll most likely uh, go ahead and attempt another vehicle pursuit on that individual, see if we can get him stopped. Hopefully this clears up soon. Wow, that car went through hell and back. Not really sure what that was about. 
Uh, but again, we're in an undercover unit. Our shit got fucked up in the beginning there, just because I was not expecting it to be so fucked up with the siren. Uh, but thankfully, we got that fixed and squared away. Everything is back and going. I'm in the CAD, got my weapon. Uh, it's just we got to deal with the rain now, so that's going to be good. I want to stay in the county if I can. I think that would probably be the best idea. These headlights are super fucking bright. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to check some areas that the individual could have ditched his vehicle at. Just to see if we could possibly come across the uh, vehicle, maybe collect some evidence or whatnot. But yeah, he hauled past us. I'm surprised he didn't pass by anyone else uh, when he went through the city like that, or at least the county. Just kind of seemed to pass by everyone. Oops, excuse me. Without any issues or anything like that. Oh man, this is going to be a slippery fucking vehicle to handle in the rain. Which is definitely not going to be good. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep going in kind of areas where we're... Will be a little stealthier than a black and white vehicle. Hopefully, the one spotlight kind of works to our advantage, and it it's not gonna do, <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. So they have another priority. Someone's running. I'm not exactly sure where they're running. Northbound Josh. What? <laughs> oh, unless they're coming through this way. I'm not exactly sure what exactly is going on. Route 68 approach. So they're going to be going back this other way. Is it the same person? Well, we're going to go this way just to kind of get set up on the uh, 13 entrance because that's pretty much what they're going to go through. Vancudo. Oh, so they just booked it right. 10-4 around me. Okay, I'm in, uh, in route to that code 3. I don't know if that's going to be the same person. So westbound 68. Westbound 68. Westbound 68. Yeah, they're going down uh, this way right now. So practically we're going over Joshua. And we'll be heading into kind of Zancudo area. Not in this weather, not going to be able to go. It's probably sketchy enough that we're driving this fast. 10-4. Damn, he's taking him out there, dude. Still going, even though he just got in a car accident. I'll see if we can try to get over that way and assist if we can. So they got one secondary. I don't know they got third or fourth in there, but we're going to try to get out there and help them. They're going to be continuing to the Great Ocean Highway. No stop sign there, we're good. Alright, we're still going, we're going strong. I gotta pay attention a little because it's a little sketchy with the rain. I'll be honest. Get to the right, people, come on. They need to update. Whoa. <laughs> Northbound, <laughs> North uh, going, going to Polito. Perfect. They're still going. I'm going to try to make my way. We are a good amount of ways away behind. We haven't even made it to uh, Great Ocean Highway yet. Okay, we're getting a little loose there. We're still northbound on Great Ocean Highway. Fuck, dude. We had one unit 1050. One unit just 10 Is that what I just heard? I'm gonna lower the fucking siren so I can actually hear what's going on. Shit, come on guys, I need updates. Go ahead. Oh, that's not good. You guys are gonna be in the crossfire. Okay, so, uh, uh, vehicles continuing. Looking 24 to pursuing units. Can we get cross street updates, please? We're still northbound GOH. Copy that. Cross street updates. There is no cross street, sir. We're just on GOH on the bridge. Victor 10, or Victor 21. They're going to be northbound coming past Cassidy Trail. There you go. Anything. Northbound past Cassidy. It's going to be great as
Surprised I haven't crashed into anything yet, though. All right, we're moving in. Uh, they got the vehicle stopped. They're waiting for a code five on them. It's gonna be right down here on the beach, so they do have the vehicle stopped. We're gonna try to get there and help them out. Because this guy's been leading everyone on a chase pretty much everywhere. Control, two Lincoln, three demand. Got him, got him, got, got him. It. I'm gonna go on the north side of that dirt road and uh, go 10 six or code six. CPS 161 picture, we have not cleared the car yet. It appears to be empty, possibly barricaded suspect inside a building. 1013. Left side of the building up top, left side up top. Silver on you, it's going to be a level 3 all call initiated on an incident area 9196 for both your property. You guys hear me? Nine, left nine, side five, on five. the top near that beach house up there. 5230, I'm taking shots from the. I got you. East side, you're supposed to bring me. Do we have any guys up there? CPS one fifty one picture. Can we have units up on Procopio Drive? I'm going. Tonight? Fuck that shit. Fifty three. I'm up here. I'm gonna help him out. Yeah, I got you covered. He's gonna be on the balcony of the beach Oh my god, he uh, tore my uh, fucking uh, car up, dude. Holy uh, shit! I'm so lucky I didn't get hit. I think he might have shot at me, but I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna have that guy locked up in that bitch. So he's not gonna be able to go anywhere. Oh my god, we are whipping this fuck. <laughs> we are whipping this car without a damn tire. All right, we should be coming up on that unit that's up here right now. He should be up here any second. Where you at, big guy? There we go. We got two guys up here. This is where he's at, though. Where's that other guy that's up here? Is he good? Uh, I know at this time, sir. Oh, no, he's in his car. Never mind. Suspect is still 10 0. We believe he's up on the hill on a beach house at 922. Possibly barricaded suspect. I'm going to move over to that rock over there. And then, uh, guy at Highway Patrol, move a little bit to the left if you can. And then, PD guy, you stay right here behind your car. Roger. Try to get this locked down and we can't. I'm gonna run. Fuck that. I don't want to get capped with bullets. He might be on that balcony like they said. A helicopter unit would work right now, but I think with this uh, weather, we're not looking too good. I'm not seeing anyone on the balcony. They should be able to have access. Uh, to that. I don't think it wasn't the balcony. He shot from the side of the house He was in the hill I saw the muzzle brake uh, come up from the hill Because you can't even get to that balcony unless you go oh Oh Fuck I always get shot Shots fired near Procopio Drive. Fuck! Uh, we're Copy. fucked. We're fucked. I knew it. How did he back up? Good. Beat his ass, Simbaz. Beat his ass. God damn it. I'm down. Uh, let's see. 38, I got him. to lose the Polito. Fuck. Emote. Sun bath. Oh, this is a cop killing spree right now. Why do I always get down? No! Oh, shit! Someone just blew up, I think. Yeah, I'm hit, though. Alright, where you hit? What hurts on Hey, I'm grabbing my med kit. I was wearing a vest, but I think he hit me everywhere. Alright. Can't catch a break. My legs, chest, arm. Victor 28, Y'all better move a vehicle forward just in case. Get us on our side because he's shooting from those houses. He might come back over and try to finish it. Okay, we just got to the hospital. I'm going to get loaded up and then we're going to hit the streets again. They're working on catching that suspect. Um which they still are calling an SRU and all that, and he's he's got, they've got to like, uh, kind of do a pre-plan and all that stuff and figure out how they're gonna go in and 
kind of attack the guy. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. We'll, we'll probably be able to head back up that way, but again, just like last episode we did Elio, we died. Uh, we probably won't be able to participate in that scene, uh, but everything else after that we'd, will be good. So we can kind of be there for other traffic stops of people who are kind of just like going around doing nothing. Uh, so we're going to get loaded in the hospital here. We're going to wait to get discharged and then we'll be back out on the streets. All right, we're headed back in to just kind of help with traffic control and stuff like that. Obviously, no takedown of the criminal. Uh, but since, like last time, yeah, you're an idiot. Uh, but like last time, we changed the vehicle because it was just like, I mean, even we, we didn't even get to use it much. But I don't know, I just don't want to drive the same car if I had to go through getting shot and go to the hospital. I want it to kind of feel like a completely different day. Also, my car got shot and it's probably fucked up. Uh, so again, we're rocking the Explorer with hubcaps and we're just going to go in there kind of help them out uh, with some traffic control. I don't exactly know where it's going on, but we're going to go ahead and take a look around and see if we got to locate these guys. Looks like they have an officer down and they're getting a medevac going. 919. Currently setting up an LZ. Damn, you can tell we're close because we're losing textures. 919. I don't see 919. 919. I see 918. Oh, 919. Okay, so it looks like they got a shit ton of. Rusted water tower. Looks to be brown shirt. Black sweatpants. Okay, yeah, they got they got tabs on them. I wanted to listen to that trim right, transmission. On the, uh, south side of the water tower. I don't want to get too close because the textures are all fucked up right now with how many people. It's like an all call that's going on, so there's a lot of cops over there. So probably be best if we kind of stay off into the distance. Uh, I guarantee one, there's. We also have visuals if SRU wanted to bring a sniper over here at nine four zero. Oh, they're gonna just up. move SRU in and snipe that motherfucker, which would be really easy. Uh, so what we're probably gonna do is, since they have so many units up here, we already got killed, technically. Uh, we're just gonna take off from of Polito and go back uh, down to Sandy Shores and, uh, see if we could try to get some traffic stops and stuff down there to try to get some, uh, other shit going on to this episode besides dying. We've been doing really good at that. This guy's trying to make a break from it from the water tower, so he's... He's relentless. He's gonna try as hard as he can. Uh, but they're probably gonna go lethal force considering the fact that so many officers have been hit that they're probably not going to play with the bullshit probably to shoot him which is what they should do because they took down tons of people oh running up the mountain there it is what is this just killed a fucking seagull oh my god i have never seen a fucking tractor like that before what the shit holy moly oh that thing's jank that you looks jank. Right but that is orange, and that That's stands out. What the fuck hand. are you doing? Yeah, We're turning around for this guy. He just hit a pole and didn't stop. He's he's going. He's going to try to get away from us. What are you doing, dude? Free Charlie, one eight one, go. Just... Just stop moving the truck, dude. This is ridiculous. Are you alright? Oh, man, it's fine, man. I don't know. It's I got a roll cage route, so I was, I'm fine. It, that was real unexpected, but I'm fine, man. I'm getting them fixed, dude. Okay, well, that's great. What about the pole that you hit back there? What about the property damage you're causing and not stopping for? Uh, the not on my monocle, sir. Well, your whole fucking car is fucked, too, so... Yeah, man, I'm getting the fixed up here, man. All right, well, you weren't trying to evade me because you pulled in here really quick and tried to, like, I don't know, look like you were going, well, you could have been going here, but it just looked like you pulled through quick. Oh, no, man, I didn't bolt away from you, man. All right, well, do me a favor, don't drive through that middle piece of land right there, okay? I mean, you can, if you want to take a little bike out there and kind of have fun in it, don't drive a whole vehicle through it, all right? Uh, we're gonna be, looks like, on southbound. Okay, southwest. man, that's fine. I like the, I, I like the camo, out. though. It looks cool. Be, uh, running on the train track. Thanks, man. Going up the Palita Forest to do a bit of hoop. Well, hopefully we, uh, can right. see you out there. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, man, it'll be fine, man. Alright, well, you have a good one, alright? You too, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, 
Okay, so they were being uh, pretty legit. I felt like wasn't too like bullshitty. I guess. Hey, relax. Damn. Holy shit, dude. Um, but yeah, they. I just I saw them cut through that thing, and it's like I've I played out there on a dirt bike and shit. But don't go smashing through it. And also on my screen, it looked like they hit the shit out of the pole. So. It, it definitely on my screen looked like they hit the pole because the vehicle damage was pretty bad. See, look, someone was walking through there. I'm gonna talk with them really quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure he's good. Hey, buddy. Oh my God. Damn. Let me get my windows down. Hey, buddy. Hey, Chief, what's happening? You go around. Go around. There you go. Or just drive in the dirt, even though I said don't do that. Anyways, just wanted to make sure you were good. I had some person that was reckless driving, and uh, I wanted to make sure you weren't hit by the car, but then you hopped on the bike, so I assumed you're good, so. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty good, but thanks. You know what? I'm going to... Have gonna fun. All right. Yep, you have a good one. Okay, so right now, these people... Yep, they're more reckless driving. I'm gonna fucking get them. Right here. Both pull over right now. Pull over. Both of you. Tell your buddy to pull over. Pull over. Pull forward, pull over. Pull forward and pull over. Go over in front of the sheriff station. In front of the sheriff station. I'm gonna double stop these motherfuckers. We just double stopped them. There you go. There you go. Oh no, man. Alright, hop out. Every, yeah, there you go. Good idea. Hop on out over here. Come on over here. We're just, we're gonna have a chat, because I don't know what I just saw, but that was not legit. Buddy in the truck, come on over here. You're in a traffic stop, too. Oh, man. I need to talk to both of you. Come on, buddy. Get out the vehicle. Come on, Let's have a chat. At least I got a marked unit on scene. Okay, so while I'm chatting really quick, you guys start getting your identifications out of your pocket, alright? Yeah, man, it's in my car. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. Go grab your ID. I saw some jank ass shit. Like, that's simple as that. Oh, they lifted it. I'm gonna let them know. I'm on a 10 11 double stop. Okay, I'm out now. Engine 355, Fox 38, direct. Yo, Mr. Mark Finnekim, sir. Put your pistol away and take your hand off your gun. So it's gonna be Mark... Finnekim? Finne Mark Finnekim. 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 Go ahead and walk back over there. Finnekim. We see a lot of absolute morons saying Finnekim over and yeah. over. Oh, I bet. Sir. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we're looking at Mark and uh, Billy, right? Yep. Oh yeah, man. Okay, so what? What hell. the hell was that? Hey, uh, buddy, buddy in blue, can you do me a favor when the radio opens up? Let him know we're on a traffic stop. Um, what was that? What was all of that like? Both of you. I saw every. I don't know. I saw you in the other, the one I just had a talk with at the gas station. You cut across like. All the all the dirt there, and you sped down the dirt road. You cut over onto the thing, speeding. Went through the gas station there. I mean, what? What? Why were you guys going so fast through the city? Is that a law? Is there is there a lore about that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know I could cut off onto the dirt. I was on the dirt road. I went down the dirt road, stopped at the stoplight, and I came over and I got some gas. Well, you were originally going pretty yeah, fast too. To catch up with exactly, and then that's what made you go fast and try to catch up with them, and that's why I caught up with you guys here. Yeah, mate. So is there any reason why you guys are going so fast? You guys racing? No, no, we're not racing. No, I didn't clock your speed, but I visually estimated you going faster than any other car on the road. So. I'd like to see the proof for that, though. But that's that's great. But I'm I'm trying to figure out why you're asking for proof. Did I say I was giving you a speeding ticket? Oh no, I'm just making sure. You know. Making sure of what? Are you- can you read minds? It's fine, man, don't no, worry, no, just, 
So then relax with trying to ask for. I'm sorry, what? All up tight. I've been around today, I've been around in the county today, and all the cops have been, I you know, stick halfway with their arse, you know? Well, that's cool. I can't speak for other people. I can only speak for myself, but I, I asked, you know, was I gonna give you guys a speeding ticket? No, but I did witness you guys driving pretty recklessly yeah, in the... I will put you in handcuffs faster than you can think. What the fuck? I did nothing. And I was then your hands will be the near your ass already, so you'll be good. <laughs> there it is. Alright, so... Do any of you have any priors for speeding or reckless driving? Probably. In this vehicle? Or in, in this, in your guys' truck? Probably. Probably. Are they out here in the county or are they in the city? All over the place, buddy. All over the place. Alright, well... Let me, let me get this uh, screenshot of it. I need to get their name. Okay, let me run your guys' name really quick and I'll be right back with you, alright? Alright. Oh, I'm gonna make sure they're good. I believe that he let him know we were on a traffic stop. Luckily, this guy was already at the station. There'll be a plate search. Mark. Okay, no, no, on a metallic, mark you boy. Okay, so we do have a... Hey, sir, I don't need you reaching around. Come back in front of your truck. We have a plate here. What do you mean? I'm just making sure my box is all set up. Squad 30 fire control. You're good. I understand. I just need you guys to stay... Okay, Keep your hands where I can see them and stay in front of your vehicle. I don't think it's that's the right thing, you, but... Just, no, no, we don't need shoot. Quad Armed robbery, yeah, reckless driving. Of course. Uh, of course. All right. So let's get the other one. It's gonna be a no, Billy a Sapper. Thing. We went to see your hands and make sure not near anything okay, that's gonna hurt us. Now I know your your friend over here's got a pistol. No, no. But it's secured in the holster. Which one were they driving though? That's the thing. It doesn't say the model name. It's all not available, which is gonna make it difficult to get a plate on that. But holy mother of God! They don't probably even know what they have with their life. Holy shit! <laughs> These are someone that has their account for God knows how long. My, well, actually, you could be able to tell right here since November seventh of two thousand eight. You step back and I will pick it up. Oh, that's so good. Well, All right, I'm going to cut them a break because I was so far, but secure. I want them to just know that we're All paying right, attention and that we're watching. You know what I mean? Like, that would be the best thing. I was I was watching, though. I was paying mad attention. Yeah, it was Hunter and Sapper. All right, if you guys... All right, if you guys want to grab your IDs back here, I'm going to cut you guys both a break. Uh -huh. Just let you guys know that you guys need to slow it down, okay? If you're going to cross over roads like that where traffic's going, just slow it down. And when you come into the city, just, like I said, slow it down, alright? One of you has the world's longest rap sheet in the world, so you don't need anything else on that record. I'm not sure who it was, but I could say one of you, it, it just kept loading and loading and loading. So yeah, just slow it down, do me that favor, alright? Okay, and this time, man. There's your ID. There's your ID. Okay. All right. You guys get back in your vehicles. Pull off safely. All right. I'll pull out, man. I'll be safe and I'll pull out, man. All right. Appreciate the help for that. I was just sitting here about to go smoke a cigarette and you just pulled right right behind me. Well, yeah. I'm surprised I was able to get both of them too, but. I saw they were doing some crazy shit, but as long as they can just not do it again, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to go get a little more since I got killed for most of it, so I'll see you out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're marked today, by the way. Awesome, I appreciate it. Blue shirt, bandana, whiskey, Mike, gonna be at 769. Uh, I don't think they said what code... To respond to, I might be just a suspicious person, so we're just gonna try to get there as fast as, as fast as we can without any lights or sirens, or as little lights as we can with no sirens at all. That way, no one hears us rolling up. Hopefully, we'll be the first unit. That way, we are undercover and no one sees us, and we can kind of get the element of surprise. I can let other people know what's going on. 
I'm gonna try to go there as fast as I can. Control, two Lincoln, three, three, nine. Under the conditions three, three, of nine. rain. Can you show me ten six for about two mics? I'll be what are they doing there? Ten four. Two extra four four six. Two extra four four six. That's two I'm sheriff in. units. What were they doing, dude? Like, all right, we're rolling up. Ten four lights are forty one. I'm gonna kill my lights. They said it was a black van. Lancer 41, County. But I'm not... Ooh. Lucky 24 dispatch. I'm 23 at that location. Is there any other further details? Because I don't see a black van. No further at this time, sir. We're attempting callback. 769. I want to make sure I have the right location. Yeah, I do. Uh, not sure what's going on. So they said a black van, but I don't see any type of black van. I see a lot of other black vehicles, uh, but nothing that has to do with the black van. Free Charlie, 275. So I'm going to look around really quick and see if I can locate anything. And uh, we'll see if we can kind of go from there. Uh, caller stated, let's see. Guy was putting bags and, and white blocks in the car. Whiskey Mike, blue shirt into a black van. Yeah, I don't see any black van in this area. He could have already taken off, which if that's the case, then uh, he should be able to be picked up by another patrol unit out there. Hmm. They called out two other units, but even they haven't got there yet. Uh, I'm gonna look across the street just to be 100% sure here. As of right now, it's looking relatively clear. Thank God it's daytime, so we can kind of see a little bit more. Uh, we should probably bolo a soft bolo for that vehicle. If we could locate uh, anything that kind of matches that, like a black van or whatnot with a uh, whiskey mic inside of it. Ooh, that Explorer is looking mighty good. Lucky 24 dispatch. One, you, if you sent other units to this, you can go ahead and have them uh, disregard it. There's nothing here that correlates to what that call was. 10 4, sir. Be advised. Uh, upon callback, caller advises um, he has seen the van traveling eastbound Marina Drive near Postal 754. Copy. If we could just have a soft bolo out, we have a patrol unit pick it up and just send out the units that are attached to it. All right, well, at this point, uh, vehicle's left location, so hopefully a patrol unit with a soft bolo will be able to pick it up, and uh, we'll be able to kind of go from there for the suspicious activity. Uh, it doesn't mean we're going to run through his shit, it just means we've got to kind of figure out what he was doing. Uh, that is an abandoned vehicle, so for us to be able to know what he was doing would be a little bit better, because uh, we have had drug activity in and out of that building quite often. Uh, so we want to make sure that's not what it's leading to, which is like, you know, drug trafficking or not even drug trafficking, but like theft of drugs because that's just going to cause retaliation in the streets. So hopefully 35, really? That's it? Hopefully we could figure something out. Oh my God, they're killing each other. Get it together, people. He had one job. Got him. Monkey 24. Oh, uh, disregard. Uh, looks like a black and white, so we'll be making a 10-11 on that. Black van will be secondary. Ten. I saw that out of nowhere, but I didn't even see the black and white. We're going to go ahead and help him out here because this was originally Control, the Lincoln, van we're three, looking for. Two Lincoln, three, three, nine. Show me at the limit with that black van at 732. Yeah, that Crown Vic is so nice. Ah. That is a that is a black and white police car right there. Beautiful. TPS one five one Victor to control. Go ahead. I'm gonna be activating the X-ray unit in ninety seven to Plato Bay Sheriff Station to assist with that call. You want me to make contact with them? Well, it's the uh, it's a call out for the uh, what was it? The loading material into. A van, it was called in by a pedestrian. 
Okay, you don't have a plate, so... Ah, that's even more suspicious. Perfect. So, you just want to conduct a uh, traffic stop for the uh, window tint and no plate. We'll go from there. Yep. Cool. I'm going to go to the driver's side. I can't see a thing. Hey, brother, how Squad can I 30 fire control. Sir, I'm gonna ask you to roll down your window completely, please. Can I have your stats? <laughs> there it is. Uh, we just dropped off one patient. Yeah, you got dark uh, window tint, sir. We got to be able uh, to see you. You have uh, right now. You have um, a, f a primary crime along with a secondary hey. crime of the window tint. So we can't see you, officer safety. We're gonna have to ask you to roll it down. All right. Three tall, nine five four, blank any. All right. I don't want to roll it down nine five four, go ahead. Yeah. If you would like to step out of the car, we talk under the overhang over here. That's cool too. The, the windows are going to be very dark. Right, I'll just roll it down for you boys, alright? I appreciate it. At least he's cooperating. He has yet to roll it down, though. There we go. That is a really right, real looking character. Holy shit, I love it. What so the fuck? That's awesome. Proof of insurance, please. You don't, your window tint's uh, too dark, and uh, you don't have a plate. Oh no, I'm just I'm just driving down to go play now. Don't just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. All right, see ya. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I need license, registration, proof of insurance. It's a female deputy over uh, here. No, That's man, great. I'm just gonna go and grab a plate right now from the DMV. Please call in that for Go ahead. Your license, registration, proof of insurance. I'm uh, not liking this. You might get inside the van. He's gonna have a ball head. Come on, man. We're not gonna ask you again. Deal. I'm gonna pull my weapon in case he gets a little crazy. <laughs> well, like I'm just you know. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll give oh, you I don't license. have a weapon. Like no. A different day or something. I'll bring it down to the police station or something, boys. No, that's, like not, he's that's, not, that's not how it works, sir. Go and step out. Come of on, car. man. Step out or get the license. All right. He's reaching I'm, for something. I'm gonna step out of the car. Yeah, I'm. I'm not, I'm not doing anything, boys. Okay, step out then. No, I'm not doing anything. Okay, you already said I you were gonna go step, out, step out, so step out. In order. No, I, I, I can't step out right now. It's not right now. No, I'm just staying in the car. Sir, just step stop out of the car me. now. No, so you tell me to get out of the car. Waves that man in van. What? And it's un. And it's. Sir, un it's a direct order. Step out of the car now. I don't like sir, it. Sir, you tell me to get out of the car. I'm saying no, okay? I'll and and we're saying get out of the car. All right, sir, step hey. out of the car or I will tase you. Step out of the car. Tase me? What's tasing me gonna do? I'm gonna break the uh, back Step window the here now. so I can see. Because this is, I'm in a vulnerable spot. You got two seconds. Sure. Last warning, or I will tase you. Step out of the Who car. Who's that now. guy up what there? What is tasing me going to do? If you tase me, last that warning. Will not make me open my last door. warning. Step out of the car. <laughs> He's about to tase him. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. I'm just back up. Come on, man. Tase we don't want to have to do this. Uh, oh shit. Uh, I'm just gonna go taser. Oh, no fire extinguisher. Come on, Put man. Put your hands up. Hey, what, what, what was that fool? There's... Control to Lincoln, 329. We don't gotta go uh, any uh, further. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Deputy, if you can keep an eye on that person's second me. balcony, I got you. Covering? Yeah, I got you, sorry. That was not what I was expecting. That guy had a zero patience fuse. <laughs> oh, okay. He was you, not you fucking around, dude. Holy wrong, shit. What? Sir, That's like me on a bad day. Fucking Sir, step back towards my cruiser. Sir, stop yelling at me and answer my question, mate. <laughs> I will answer your question once you get back towards my cruiser. I don't know how you you up. I get off your fucking high horse, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Alright, relax, because you're already in the deep water with what you already do with resisting. Lawful orders, all right. So don't make it worse, all right. He's got a handgun on him. A blank handgun. We got yeah, one. You look at like shooting the body face. If you didn't do pressure? anything, just relax. There's no reason to get any more charges. All right. So you're right, on, on you guys going to stick poke me or me? Cuffs. No, I got nothing other than my gun. Well. All right, sir, the reason you are being detained is for failure to identify, along with refusing officer orders, which Squad is resisting 30, a police one. officer or obstruction. Squad 30. Uh, you can show us 10 please. All right, well, as I said, I am unable to identify. Clear, sure, I don't have my license on me. 
That's fine, but you need to provide your name then so we can run your name. I'm not going to be providing my, my name today because I don't know my last name. That's that's not how it works. If a peace officer asks you for your name, you've got to provide it. Now one, Charlie, out of Victor, 324. Uh, no, 3 sir. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have my license on me, so I can't provide my name today. That makes absolutely no sense because you can verbally speak your name. Yeah, but there'd be no proof. Um, I'm actually not going to be telling you my name today. Yeah, it actually would be proof because we would verify your address that you would give along with it. I mean, if you don't want to do, we'll book you as John Doe and you'll stay in there even longer until they get your name and then they'll start pursuing charges, so. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't give your name right now. It's something a lot bigger Why can't you give a game? Why, why can't you give us a name? Was that uh, a deputy well, petting the cat? Well, <laughs> I'm sure you understand. I don't She's understand. That's why I said I'm sure you will. Okay, sir. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go put you in the back of my car. I'm gonna go put you in the back of my car, okay? No, nah, bro. No. If you wanna play hardball, I'm gonna play hardball. Alright, so Two, go ahead like and walk back. I'm gonna, uh, slash me peeks inside of the back of the van and the sees. Seat. I want to just see what might be back there, because obviously he was up to no good, so... I want to see if there's anything I can hey, see. Hey, if you want to go ahead and search the van, you're welcome to. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking back there, because I don't know what he was doing, so I don't want to... I don't want to do anything crazy. Two Lincoln, three, six, two. I don't know, it looks like a whole bunch of crates or something. I'm going to pop the back doors. Two Lincoln, three, six, two. Let's see what's inside these. I wonder why he's giving us such a hard way. I don't know. He was over there doing something suspicious in the vehicle, so... I'm gonna just see what's in them. Call number 31392. Oh, so route 68 approach near postal 685. Yeah, I think he might have been looting stuff uh, from the uh, building over there. Truck, uh, blocking the road, possibly abandoned. Hey, sir, you don't want to tell me your name still? Sir. No, you might not tell me my name. No, we're in the car. No one else can hear us. You can help your case. So out. I'm going to ask him if it's separate in baggies. Or just clumps of white powder. Yeah, as of right now, you're you're going to be going to jail for a while. Did affect you. you? Don't have a vehicle registration. You have suspicious material in the back, along with your tents. You fail to identify your obstructing, and we're going to go ahead and get you for resisting too. Each each brick has logo of kangaroo with boxing gloves on it. There it is. Three heavy bricks. Okay, so. Looks like they're not even bags. I think we have either meth or cocaine here in brick form, so I, he was either doing a pickup or some some shit, but we seized or intercepted a pretty good amount of drugs here, I think. Uh, we can get a traffic unit down here and test. Yeah, I think that would be best. 10-4, can you advise a color? I'm gonna get the VIN number of this van so I can get, get the vehicle. And it looks like we have nine big bags of something. Let me go ahead and cut one open just to That's see what's inside. Nine, Smells like weed, so nine, I'm thinking we have a huge drug it pickup. Yeah, this is... I'm gonna stop touching it. We got just a huge narcotic load here, so... Possibly linked with some overseas overseas thing, because they all got logos stamped in them, so... 3x142 to the unit calling out Sabre plate. 10-4, go for it. What's your So, this is a... <laughs> wasn't expecting this. 
but uh, we pretty much got a big seize. This guarantee why he doesn't want to give his name because it's probably associated with something that's much bigger than him. He's just a small pawn. Cartel, maybe? Uh, something, but you don't get this much drugs from just going to your neighborhood drug dealer, I'll tell you that, unless you just killed him. But still, the neighborhood drug dealer usually doesn't have something to stamp their drugs. Uh, and also, we're talking bricks here. We're not talking like dime bags with the stamp. Did we get rid of that uh, traffic unit or are we still waiting? Um, he's, I don't think he's coming. I'm going to try to talk to this guy. Control 2 Lincoln 339. 2 Lincoln 339. Uh, do we have a route? Uh, routing unit of traffic for this drug test? Let me just roll down your back windows. A firm, sir, working on it. Alright, so you want to talk to me because obviously you got a pretty big issue here if we're talking this much drugs, so why don't you let me know what's going on, that way I can try to work with you. Yeah, mate, I can see. I'm in, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Um, I'm in a bit of a pickle, away. I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm not the DA, so there's not much I could do, but, you know, if you tell me who you got it from... You know, where they came from, why they came from, if you paid for them, did you get them, are you going to sell them? Let me know the details so that way I can pass it over to the DA let you know you cooperated. And if you got a name, you know, then that's when they can cut a deal because you're giving them a bigger person. There you go, pal. What I'm going to say is, I don't know much. I just know it's a massive organization with a bunch of different people. They just they just picked me up off the street, said, deliver this, you get 50 grand. I'm 50 like, grand, damn. Right, I'll do it. So, I did it. They got a lot of guns. Um, obviously I didn't make it very far. Was this your first time doing it? Oh yeah, mate, first time. Okay, and they just picked you up off the street. You don't got names, you don't know what they look like or anything, what cars they drive, possible license plate, tattoos. Nah, uh, well, all, all their cars are like this, you know, there's a black van with no plate on. Um, that's gonna be the drug unit that's gonna test them. Because every time I've met them, there's like three main guys, I think, judging by the voices, and like the heights of them, but every time I met them, they're, they're always wearing a mask, and they've always got like some sort of big gun on them. Do you have a number that you could call to get in contact with them? What's up? Oh, nah, bro, um, like, there's this one guy. Who sort of runs all of it, and he's and he's just different, like burn a phone every single day and calls me and tells me to do something else, you know. Or this uh, we found four four large bricks of a white powdery substance, and then there's nine bags of um. Hold on, let me just go through everything. Then there's nine bags of what looks to be some type of marijuana or something. All of them have some type of stamp logo. Like I said, let me finish. <laughs> Shit, uh, they all have stamps and logos in it, so it looks to be like. Uh, some type of distribution ring or something. What's the picture of the, uh, or what's the picture of the logo? Uh, uh, that's not in my notes right here, so let me see if I get it. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, I've dealt with this before. Awesome. This is always an ongoing case. Cool. Oh yeah, the kangaroo, that's right. Um, okay, so... Hey. You haven't seen them again. Do you have a phone number? Email address, uh, anything. No, as I said, mate, this is like an international thing. That's an up close he's picture. Going, he's a different burner phone every day. He knows my number, I don't know his. Um, you know, he's probably messaging me right now, wondering where I am. Well, where were you supposed to Where's drop the stuff at? off? Because we can, we can, we can have a, a UC, well, let, like I said, if you full disclose, then I can help you out here, and I can, you know, dress down, and we could just do the drop off and take them down, and what, you know, like, we'll, we'll pretend to take you down too, that way there's no issue. We can promise no way, protective custody for you. All you gotta do is agree to help us, and we'll help you. If these guys know that I've been with the cops, I'm dead. 
I'm telling you. I That's can't. what I'm saying. It won't look well, like that. We'll take you down exactly like we will him. All you got to do is play it up. But here's the thing. The, the, we didn't go, you didn't go to the cops. We came to you. So... You know, the longer you sit here and wait with us, the, the more of a chance that he could drive by and see your van pulled over, when in reality we could all just be down at the drop-off point, and we could handle our thing and we could just take him into custody. So, I, I, I don't... I really think it's a good idea for me to tell you the drop-off. I think it's in your best interest. That way we could try to help you. Hey, you either help us and we put you in protective custody, or we put you with a normal holding cell and hope you live through the night, because if this is as big as you say it is, you won't last the night even in jail. Are you threatening me, mate? <laughs> there it is. I'm not threatening you. The organization's probably going to threaten you. So what's it, what's it going to be, man? <sighs> I mean, if not, then that's fine. Right. You can deal with what you got to deal with. I don't know, dude, like, there's actually like a big crew up there, and I don't know if you guys can handle it. We got many tools, but like we I said, we, we, we're wasting valuable time sitting here talking to someone who doesn't want to give us anything, so. Hey guys? Yeah. Yes. Do you mind if I take this guy down to the station real quick? Yeah, let me just make sure he's not gonna give us anything, and then you can take him in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, so what is it going to be? No deal, deal. So, you don't know who these guys are. That's like, fine. That's why I'm asking. Do you want guys. a deal or no deal? Make it short and sweet. Just rip the band-aid off. Uh, no deal, man. No okay, deal. that's fine. So we're going to have you step out of the deal. vehicle, and we're going to go with this officer in the black uniform over here, all right? I hope you can get everything figured out. Okay. Hey, uh, deputy, if you want to take, or, uh, officer, if you want to take him, then he's ready to go. Okay, so we're taking off from this, uh, traffic stop. We actually had a good seize of, a seizure of drugs there. Um, was not expecting that. I knew he was doing some jank shit, but I didn't think it was drug related. I thought it was, like, theft or something. But it could be a drop off or something like that. Is this guy responding? Not this direction. So we're gonna head back to the station and wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.